Hi, Richard Bustillo from the IMB Academy. This afternoon's session, we'd like to show you Bruce Lee's uh, Jit Kune Do, or hand trapping. Now, in Bruce Lee's art, there is no passive blocks. Their blocks are the strikes. In other words, your offense, your defense is your offense, okay? So in other words, when he's here, if he punches the right hand, I don't waste my time on parrying it. I hit the same time uh, with the punch. So when that hand comes up, I punch, okay? I punch. If the other hand comes up, I punch the same hand. This hand, I can cross parry or I can front parry, okay? One, two, good. Now the follow-up on this is one, two, good? So when I knock this punch down, my left arm, a lansau, goes over and punch. So it's a one, two, three. So it's a one, two, this hand's here, three. Again, one, two, three. If the left hand punches, I cross parry and strike simultaneous. This is a, a, a little defense with your forearm, so when you hit, one. I pop this up and I hit the same time. The left hand is already cocked for the hammer fist. Okay, it's one hit, one, two. Okay, they're not gonna see this hammer fist. One, two. This hand here, three. Again, one, two, three. Front hand, one, two, three. Rear hand, one, two, three. That's the linear line. Now, when it come out to the circular line, one, same side block, right hand, same side block, uh, center line hit. Again, one, two. When you block, one, palm is out because you need this one inch momentum. Two, one, two, again, one, two, three, good, one, two, three. The front leg, front hook, rear hand, cross. In other words, hit, one, two, front leg, hook. Other hand, one, two, hit, three. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. If the other hand comes up, one. I intercept the left with my right straight punch, good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Now, the circular punch, I hit the center line with my front hand. Front hand always striking, rear hand always defense. So in other words, one, two, three. Again, one, two, three. Other hand, this is a block. This is what you're going to hit with and cross. Again, one, two, three. Again, right hand. Circ uh, circular line or low line, you can block this way or you can block with your hand down this way here. Okay? So when you hit here, this is a block. This is where we intercept a low punch with a punch. <laughs> Again, one, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Okay? So we intercept the low punch with a punch, high punch. This hands over the cup, you got a wind up. So when you hit, this, 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 other side. This, this, this. If I block with the elbow down, one, this is already cock, two, three. Other hand, one, two, three. Four, five is your own jikundo. We do the entry and we intercept the strikes and you follow up with the four, five. In other words, straight punch. One, two, three. Four, five. Another hand. One, two, three, four, five. Circular. One, two, three, four, five. Low line. One, two, three, four, five. Now, you intercept with a punch with a punch. I intercept the punch with a kick now. When you punch, they normally have to step to reach. This, I want to kick. This, this, good. This, this. So when I kick, this, this, this is right where it's supposed to be for the hammer fist. Jet style hammer fist. 
this, 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 again. This, 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 and the hook, again. One, two, three, four. So when you, when you rip it, this, this, this. Or, intercept the punch with a kick, cross, hook, cross, again. Aim, <laughs> again. This, this, this. Now, sometimes your leg's in the outside and not in the inside. When you punch, you can hook kick, okay? Hook kick in the inside muscle, okay? So it's, this, this, again. One, two. One, two, three, again. One, two, three, okay? Sometimes hit, side kick, intercept a punch with a kick, or, Hook kick. Again, side kick or hook kick. Okay? Now, when I punch, rear hand's supposed to be here. This is Jut Sao now. So when you hit, one, two. I want to catch his hand. I punch him, he juts out, I juts out. So when I punch, one, two. Again, one, Two, again, one, two, okay, fall off with the hook, one, two, three, again, one, two, uh, uh. again, one, uh, uh, uh. three. So you can intercept with the front hand or the rear hand. Now, on my offense, if he inside block, Good, this way here. Okay, on the inside block, this is what they call a pak sao, slap in the hands, elbow to the chest, go out your and hammer fist. So in other words, hit, one. Okay, one. Now, the pak sao, slap your hands, can do a lan sao. So in other words, when you, when you block my hand, this hand comes across, I would hit my forearm and then hit. So, one, two, again. When he block, I use this arm as leverage. One, two, okay. This is where the Juk Chung Choi, straight glass comes in. One, <laughs> good. One, <laughs> good. Normally you end up with a kick because they're not gonna stay there. Uh, the opponent is not gonna be there, stationary. They normally step back. So your Juk Chung Choi come right after the Lan Sao. Hey, one, two, three, four. Again, say that. Hit, 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 hit. Again. Good. Now, when you block outward, when you block outward, if it's too much pressure this way, I don't fight the pressure. You block out, watch Choi. Good. I'm here, I Lin Lop Sao across the hands and hit. Then lap saw is when I cross my hand and hit. I feel it going out. One, two. And one, two. If it goes here and stays here, okay, I can lap saw straight pull. So when I have a fist, two. One, two. Go forward, one, two. You block forward, I go with this energy. One, two. Now watch this, hit, one, two. I trap this hand. So what I did, when he goes out, I hit. This hand's here. This is caught. Three, I trap this hand. Hit, one, two, three. One, two, three. Hit, one, two. One, two. Good, when he goes on the inside, from here, one. Good, run sao. If I puck sao and block, then I get a double puck sao. One, pucks out the front hand. Two, pucks out the rear hand and hammer fist elbow on his forearm. Two. So it's one, two, three. Trap the hands this way. Sometimes, one, two. Because <coughs> they're not going to see this back fist. 
when it comes here. One, two. Pull up this this way in the back. Okay? Now, you can trap the front hand. Okay? When you use the rear hand, okay, I can still pack a puck out, quad short, and hit. So it's three moves. One, two, three. If I got this forearm here, I'm going to rack the forearm. So, one, two, three. Okay? One, drop here. Two, three. Elbow, hammer fist, boom. Good. Rear hand block. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. And the follow up is one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three. This end, you'll never see this hammer fist going up. Four. Again, one, two, three, four. Now, this session is when you do the hand trapping, you might have one or two strikes, but the opponent always moves back. When you move back, you have to follow with uh, your leg kicks or your uh, close the line with kicks. Um, I'll have uh, Erwin um, and uh, Steve demonstrate. Erwin's going to be punching, hand trap, and follow with a kick. Good. Or you can do it a side kick, follow with a spin kick. So. Good. Or you can follow with the side kick, round kick. Good. Spin kick. Let me roll. Good. See, all these strikes, you have to know your, your ranges. Whether you're in the hand range for trapping, or you're outside the hand range, now you're in a kicking range. And that's what we're demonstrating. Now this session is to do a kicking exercises, whether it be at the knee or round kick or heel hook kick uh, or crescent spinning kick. Uh, this is how you do it when you are out of hand range. Okay? Steve's gonna do the punch. He's gonna intercept the punch with a side kick. Go. One, down, hammer fist, side kick. Good. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, good. Or he can spin kick, side kick, spin kick. One, two, three. Yeah, there you go. All right. You're going to do the side, side, low side kick, um, low side kick, hammer fist, front leg crescent. One, two, three. Good. Now do the round kick again. Good. This is one of our kicking exercises that we do. Uh, if you're outside the hand trapping range, you have to know how to follow up with various kicks. Side kick, hook kick, heel hook, or spinning kick. And this is what we do. Now we use equipment to practice so we can find out if we have it uh, to be a kicker or a puncher. 
In defense, we do the same thing. We always work with resistance against equipment uh, to train our tools. Okay? This here is, uh, is simulating blocking the low line. When you block the low line, we use Bruce Lee's uh, concept of intercept intercepting the kicks. So you intercept the kicks with a punch. So it's a one, two. Again. If I go out on the side, a middle kick, you block. One, two. Again. One, two. Now you can follow up. One, two, right, high, left, low kick. One, two. Again. Good. Other side. Low kick, high kick with the left. Left, low, high, right. Again. So when you practice with your partner, you got the coordination, and I'll have Steve Delacruz come in and kick against Irvin, and then Irvin will defend and counter at the same time. Okay, move it around slowly. Now, that's a middle kick. When the middle kick, um, you, you feel a middle kick coming up, bring the leg to block. Now, if you kick low, okay, you're gonna get kicked anyway, so you're gonna defend the low kick by putting pressure on the front leg, okay, and then put the same time. Okay, so you can block, closer. So you're gonna lean forward, you're gonna throw across. Bang, yes. When you stop this, it stops my momentum. But this practice is going to the head, I'll practice it to the shoulder. So when you stop them, one, two, three. Good, again. One, two, three, low, high, boom. One more time. One, two, three, low, high. If I kick the left leg kick, you're gonna lean forward with a jab, one. One, then you're gonna come with the cross hook. One, two, three, now low and high. Yes, again. One, two, three, low, high. That's where we defend the low kicks. Now for the high kick, I can block the high kick this way. Put the shoulder, bang. When I block it with my body, not my hand, I'm gonna trap it with my opposite hand. Bang, I got a trap, and I can kick. Over here, kick, high trap, okay, low kick, one, two, three, low kick. Or, same leg, I trap, I push down, kick, one, two, three. So this sweep now, forward, I catch, I push the leg down, he don't have balance, and I kick before he recover. One, hit, bing, one, two, three. Same with the front leg kick. I can block and catch. Block, catch, boom, I can get to the inside. Again, bang, if I try, he can't do nothing with one leg. Before he comes down, I kick, two, three. Or I can sweep the leg. One, sweep, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Now, in the event of a straight stomp, Okay, if I catch it this way, watch this, I'll pull, in, in, in. 
Once I move out this way here, I will pull him forward, left cross hook, cross hook. Again. Bang. Hip. One, two, three. If the right leg comes up, we will set up here. I pull, cross hook, cross. Again. Yeah. One, two, three. So there's various defense that you can do your offense counter with. So in other words, Bruce Lee's concept is intercepting the kick with a punch or intercepting the kick with a kick.